Hello, everyone, and welcome to our latest edition of You Ask, We Answer. This is Jamie Edson, Marketing Communications Specialist with Equa, and I'm joined at the hip today with Susan Hudson, VP of Equa Marketing. Susan, as always, thanks for being here. Thank you, Jamie. I couldn't help myself. Hello to all our listeners out there. I see our topic is about utilizing the different social media platforms. And we get so many social media questions, Susan, and I think it's time to answer a few of them. The dynamics of social media marketing are forever changing. Increased engagement, robust interaction, and extensive marketing reach are among the more obvious ways in which social media can impact business growth. Each social media platform has been designed to lend specific value to different marketing goals. And this is why choosing the right social media platform based on the kind of content, customer engagement, and brand exposure it offers is imperative for practices. Now there are three steps to effective marketing over a social media platform. And those are identifying your practice goals, creating content which best addresses those goals, and selecting a social media platform which offers the best delivery options for your new content. Social media platforms will help you engage with your target base, offer them accurate information and advice, and curate relevant content from different sources to create a robust information portal for your readers. Additionally, social media sites are perfect for gathering information on the preferences of your target audience. To begin, ask yourself this question. What do you aim to achieve with your new content? If you are looking to boost search engine rankings, Google Plus listings, YouTube, and StumbleUpon are at the top of their game and should be your first choices. If you want to drive traffic to your site, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, StumbleUpon, and SlideShare are effective website traffic drivers. Now, if your goal is to improve customer engagement, then Google+, Foursquare, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter offer effective customer engagement avenues. And last but not least, if you want to enhance brand exposure, All social networks can deliver excellent results if used judiciously. Now, marketing content can be broadly divided into two types, text-based content and visual-based content. While most social media platforms today can be utilized to deliver both kinds of content, it is always better to leverage a social media platform based on the specific advantages it offers. If you're producing text-based content, the four social media platforms that offer a strategic advantage for this purpose are Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and LinkedIn. Visual-based content is becoming increasingly popular within the social sphere. One look at how social media platforms such as YouTube and Tumblr are performing, and it's easy to understand the rise of the visual web, which moves the focus from text-based web pages towards a more fulfilling visual discovery. Another item to note is that very recently, Pinterest expanded its reach to include the pinning of written articles. It's early days yet, but certainly may be a huge move that will establish Pinterest as a contender in the text-based marketing platform. I couldn't agree more. We would like to thank you all for listening in, and be sure to keep an eye out for our next webinar that will feature the top five social media platforms. If you have any questions about any of the social media verticals we discussed today, or any other marketing questions, please feel free to email us and we will respond promptly. We will also be conducting more webinars in the future, so check back often. Your question may be featured.